Uh, Kate, when we talk about the stablecoin piece of this, walk us through why a potential run on a stablecoin or run on a stablecoin yeah. would actually result in sort of larger crypto contagion. Yeah, so these stablecoins are really important to the crypto market in general. Traders tend to use them to get in and out of positions quickly and t instead of cashing out to dollars and getting off of an exchange. They often sit on the sidelines in either Tether is the biggest, $80 billion market cap. That's the one people are now watching for potential risk. And a bigger risk than what we've seen with Terra, which is the third largest, and a lot of people were just buying it because it came with this 20% yield. It's the third largest. Tether's really the one to watch. It's now at 99 cents. It's lost the peg before. That's the big question, though, and people are saying that's a bigger indication of if the market can stabilize, if it can hold on to that. That's a huge thing for market sentiment right now. Something we've talked about is the yields, right, that Binance and some of the other platforms pay to hold Tether. Yeah. Um, does that still occur while all of this is going on, or is that in danger soon? It, it does. Well, this was the big thing with Terra as well. So that's the stable coin that dropped its peg one-to-one -to, -one to about 20 cents. So that was really the one that's collapsing this week. That was offering about a 20% yield. Tether right. stands for the same thing. So there are these incentives to buy in. The question is, we haven't seen a test like this right. in the market. Yeah. And this is really... All of these are economic experiments. And it continues to play out. Exactly. So we'll see what happens with that. Kate, thank you. Thanks, Steve.